Alright guys, Kazoo71 here on my Aberration playthrough for beginners, not you experienced players, beginners wanting to know how to do this thing. So last time we tamed a couple of things, we went down um, one of the last couple of episodes down in the red zone trying to find my way down there. Two episodes ago showed you guys, so I'm on one of my Megalosauruses, I call them the Sleepyheads. And what I'm doing is just kind of wandering around up top here, I want to find a uh, Aberrant or everything on here is almost aberrant except for the tech stuff but want to find me an iguanodon that's a pretty good level um try to replace that low level one i have as you guys will recall mine died way back when got it killed trying to get this megalosaurus that i'm riding here um killed the parasaur killed the iguanodon i lost all kind of stuff but here we go so what i'm doing is looking for another one just gonna try to find one in this area right before you start going down the path that's where i'm looking so just gonna wander around here see what we can find also i have that gas collector as you guys saw in the last episode i finally got enough red gems from raiding the roll rats we made the gas collector so what i'm working on is hazmat suits i've made three pieces already i still um letting the gas collector collect some gas balls i don't have enough to make the other two yet so i'll show you guys in this episode we'll make those the last two pieces as i get some gas balls um don't want to bore you guys to death like here's one piece here's another piece but i will show you guys we're doing it this is the low level level 15 we're gonna kill this guy um so anyway so i'm gonna show you guys as we do them like i said everything i do in here i'm gonna show you guys of me actually doing it so you know i'm not cheating the stuff in that's why my building is taking so long to build because i don't cheat anything i build it off from scratch i grind away and then i build and that's what we do so um it takes a while so these playthroughs aren't simple. So I just flash forward there again. I ran around a little bit, didn't see anything. I got to one of the little rivers. There's a little river pretty close to where I was at. Wanted to show you guys what's in this. There's a Carquinos there, a Spino, some uh, Manta. So you can tame these Mantis, uh, Manta, whatever you call them. Um, they're in this water. So easy to tame because you can just get kind of in the water a little bit and get them. The problem with these guys taming them here, so you know, is they'll beach themselves because it's so shallow water. So when you feed them, they beach themselves. So you just need to get some angler gel. And there are anglers. So ju jumping forward a little bit here, as you guys can see, I just kind of jumped forward. There's a level 95. That's the best one I was able to find. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy and get him back. So, as you guys can recall in the previous episode, um, when you have something in your mouth, don't get off. So, uh, do not get off the Megalosaurus. Make sure you keep them in your mouth. You get off, he's going to kill what he's holding. So, I'm slowing down here because my stamina is almost down. But what I'm trying to do is I tried to kind of scout the area a little bit. I was working around. I saw this guy, and then I kind of made sure there were no raptors, no ravagers in the area. Then I went back and grabbed him because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to stop and fight anything because if I had to stop and fight anything this guy's dead so I won't be able to get him back they're gonna kill him so um, pretty clear it looks like if it wasn't I kinda take a detour try to get around these guys to get back but we're almost back my little base area here um, I think I'll show you guys the map here in a bit um, but this is the probably the best area I found to build a base in but on the aberration because I mean there's a lot of areas you can build up in the sky you can build up in the air once you have rock drakes and all that stuff but you have cliff platforms in here you cannot use tree platforms none of these trees are buildable but cliff platforms work however what i'm saying is this area here only has raptors as far as bad things and uh everything else is pretty safe around here so no basilisk no ravagers no nothing here just the raptors raptor is pretty easy to deal with although in arc survival evolve raptors kill more players than any other dino so we're going to just drop him in the trap. As you guys can see, I made the trap bigger because last time I couldn't get him in there, remember? When we first started, I made the trap uh, one wide, and this guy was just stuck in the air. So we're going to go ahead and knock him out. Um, I'm using a couple of mods on my server, so if you're playing on console, you won't have these mods. Um, but that is the awesome spyglass you're seeing in the top left that I'm looking through. So as you can see, he's red right now because he's aggressive. But it also tells me how much torpidity I need to do. And I've been putting the stats on my server in the... Uh, notes for you guys so you guys can see as you saw it only took me two of the shock and tranquilizer darts to knock that guy out it didn't take too many normally it take maybe three maybe four i have my settings turned up a little bit so just running around i just want to show you guys the carquinos one of these guys just decided to want to attack me he's only level 35 and he was down in two bites he's pretty easy to go so 
Got these guys pretty high. I'm leveling up my um, Megalosaurus. As I get going, get closer to go to Rock Drakes, I'll level up the pack. I'm going to get a pack of them. We'll get them pretty high level. That way they can kill a bunch of Rock Drakes. Because we're going to get swarmed by Rock Drakes when we grab the first egg. I mean, it's just how it goes. So just jumping forward here. Here's my map right there. If you guys pause it, if you wanted to see where I was. But we're going to grab this uh, Iguanodon. And then we're going to kind of jump forward. But the goal is to get... A pack of these megalosaurus down there maybe like six seven maybe ten of them and just go down there and try to get me a rock drake egg with the uh glider suit and picks climbing picks which you're going to need to grab your first one once you get your first egg you got to get back to your megalosaurus and then let them kill thousands of rock drakes i'm joking it's not really that many but it's a bunch of them every one of them is going to attack you and then once you kill all those guys then you can get that rock drake hatched and you'll be able to get back down there and get more eggs easily. First egg's always a tough one. See, a lot of people use one Spino. And, um... Yeah, I've never really watched a playthrough all the way on that. I've watched one person um, show you the show me the path down so I could try to figure out how to get down there. But I've seen people's videos, which I've never watched more than, like, 30 seconds of, that take one Spino down. Let me show you how to get down here with a Spino. How the heck are you going to grab an egg with one Spino? I, I just, I don't get it. So, uh, and you'll see what I mean by how I get swarmed by rock drakes and other stuff. But one Spino going down there and fighting, you know, 20 rock drakes? I, I just don't see that. And so, uh, my guess is people that do those videos end up probably doing like dino wipes or something like that. And cheating and getting rid of everything so that they can grab an egg and say, look how easy that was. It was it's not easy. So anyway, so I'm making metal, as you guys can see getting all these products going so i got to get the hazmat suits going i got to get some air conditioners because without air conditioners you can't hatch rock drake eggs so we need those so i'm just looking for the acs right here they are not in here let's look in the this is these super structures that's a um, super structures crafting table right there i'm looking in so there's the air conditioner right there i'm going to make one of those for now i might i might need more than one later i'm probably gonna need like three or four at least like my settings are turned up a little bit so i might be able to hatch them with a couple we'll see i'm not sure exactly i know normal game normal settings you need like six seven of these things to hatch a rock drink egg so but we'll see there's one down just going forward a little bit here um back out here grabbing some more gas <laughs> i was going to start the video there i just left that part in there i thought it was funny so um more gas balls as you can see this thing produces it takes a little while once I get to the point when I don't need it anymore, it'll be full of gas balls. But right now, I'm reading it every time I pass it because I need to get this hazmat suit made. Can't go down there without a hazmat suit. And we need to get in there and get more red gems so we can make more hazmat suits. So what I got to do, my goal is to make one hazmat suit. And then um, get down there and get some uh, red gems. And then once we get some red gems, then we're going to come out of here and we're going to we're gonna make a bunch more. I don't. I think I need, I just need the gas balls for the, I don't think I need gas balls or red, red, excuse me. I don't need red gems for the hazmat suit. My goal is just to get down there and get them. I just want to go in the hazmat, the hazardous zone, the radiation zone, get some stuff just to find what they look like. I'll show you guys. We're going to do that in the next episode, but I just want to show you guys me collecting stuff. I'll get this hazmat suit going. We'll have the whole suit ready and we'll be getting down there. And I got a couple of mega sources here, as you can see. So we'll go down there with three of them. We'll see if we can find some. You can pause it here if you want to see what I collected. I just kind of jumped out of there real quick. But back into the um, crafting, the fabricator is what I'm looking in. So I still need boots and a shirt. So I'll kind of show you guys what I need. As you can see, it's saying I don't have enough. It won't pull the, the gas balls for some reason. There you go, it pulled everything else. It just won't pull the gas balls from my amateur. I don't know why it does that, it's kind of weird. This is the superstructures you can pull items into, but for some reason it won't pull items that are in your hands anymore. I think he's got a glitch on it. So just jumping forward a little bit more. I ran around a little bit, collected some stuff with the Dodecarus, you know, got some more rocks and stone, things like that. Uh, rock and stone. I mean wood. <laughs> I got rock and stone over two different materials. No, the same stuff. Stone, flint. Anyhow, got some more gas balls. I should have enough to make the shirt now. So we're going to go ahead and make this. I just want to show you guys. Like I said, didn't want to cut this part out. Because I want you guys to know I don't cheat things in. I always build it all as I show you guys. 
Um, go, go ahead and look at this. Let's see what we got. I should have enough. Go ahead and pull that. And there we go. So we have the full suit. I'm not going to paint it now. We'll paint it later. Oops. Um, and then when we get back on, guys, we're going to head back down into the radiation zone and see how we do in there. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.